Good evening, it's uh, February 2nd, 2009. I want you to get rid of these and free a slave today and buy some silver and gold. Anyways, um, a few people have been asking me about mortgages and um, I really, it really um, gets to me um, and uh, really hurts me badly how the, the, the fiat money system has been rigged to screw people, the honest man, out of their money, out of their hard-earned work and effort. The, the banking system has purposely set up this, this collapse of houses because it's the asset that honest working Americans believe that they ha it has value, has real tangible value. And it does. It's just they are they have destroyed its value by inflating the price so high um, with um, with you know toxic mortgages and so forth. And not only that, um, it, it's it, it the uh, they've moved all the the work, all the the factory jobs, all the everything that in order to produce money, wealth, has been shipped off to China and India. I watched uh, Slumdog Millionaires in the movie a few days ago, and and the movie progressed as uh, the the uh, the main character was a child, where India was a freaking third world backward country with nothing. Now it's a freaking industri industrial wonderland with buildings and towers everywhere. It's an amazing sight, transformation for, for India. And it's all good, but that was at your expense. The hard working Americans' expense. And they don't even realize it, and that's what kills me. Right? Your house, putting money into your, putting your fiat into the house is, is destroying you. Into any debt that you have is destroying you. Because that money that you put into that debt is worth less tomorrow than it is today. Do you understand that? It's worth less tomorrow than it is today. So that means if you put your money into your house, you didn't save it into your house, you've lost it into your house. Your house value is going to lose 80% to 90% from the peak. And sure, maybe the nominal value might turn around in uh, 2012, but the value, meaning what you can buy if you were to sell your house will be f continue to go down until 2015. So any money you put into your house is gone. Any of these fiat dollars. You, you, you've, your work has been dissipated if you start putting money into your house. And I know, I know, it's hard. Uh, you know what? If if you're looking at this video and you're like, I understand Da Vinci, but you know I I don't see how how uh, that's true and stuff like that. You know I I understand I understand because only three months ago, I did, I realized this. It really clued in to me. That I couldn't put, I had my mortgage doubled up, and I couldn't double up my mortgage because the price of the house is going down faster than the mortgage payment, the, more, the amount of money that I'm putting in. So that's what's happening to you in America. And I need you, Americans, that, that, uh, that do have uh, a solid job, that has a good income, that, that are, are trying to do the right thing, to buy gold and silver. Because that is the asset that's going to be increasing in value, in a sense, not only in dollar terms, but in what you can buy. And, 
and you need to, to take advantage of that because when this is all and when this is all over with and, and the economy uh, levels out, we're, America's going to need uh, people like you that have the real um, what's, what's the word I'm trying to think here basically that, that are doing the things properly that knows when to go into debt and when not to go into debt people like you who have purchased a house and were struggling to pay it off okay? America needs you it needs you to buy these gold and silver and stop wasting the money in your house treat it as a rental because that's all it is Right? Your house does not define you. Right? And and you know, I, I I somebody once said, Well what if I lose my job, right? Well what if what if you paid off your house and you've lost your job and, and you know what, the property taxes are more than what you can pay. What do you do then? You sell your house, you couldn't even pay for the property taxes. When the, the value, house value drops to the, to the to ultimate low, what do you do then? You've lost everything you've worked for, right? And you're like, well, no, that's never going to happen. But inflation is going through the roof, and eventually, it's going to turn houses around, housing prices around, but not until 2012. So, I'm begging you to stop paying into your mortgage. Treat it as a rental. Take the money out if you have a lot of money in your house. Buy gold and silver and hold on to it. If you lose your job, move to another house. If you can't pay the if you can't sell it, give the money give the uh, keys back to the house, the bank. If you're in Canada, you can't do that, of course, because you'll get sued. But in the United States is a non a mortgage is a non recourse loan. Hand back to keys. Your house does not define who you are. Go rent something else. Keep your gold and silver close. Because that is real money. And when, when, it, when the price goes crazy, when all the rest of the, the schmucks out there figure it out, that's when you sell. That's when you go and convert this into a house. Finally, I'd like to... to um, give you guys a quote from Thomas Jefferson. It goes like this. I believe that banking institutions are more dangerous than standing armies. If the American people ever allow private banks such as the Federal Reserve to control the issuance of currency, the banks and corporations that grow up around them will deprive the people of their property until their children wake up homeless on the continent their fathers conquered. Now, Thomas Jefferson saw this coming. Okay. One point six million people lost their homes last year. All because of this. Not as Canadian, but US. All because of that. If you don't understand what fiat money is, uh, check out the link that I placed there about the Federal Reserve and so forth. It's a recent video that somebody did. It's quite long on our on on, on the fiat system. Also, check out uh, goldforum.com. It's a nice uh, chat room that you might want to join if you're interested.